Hi everyone, welcome back to another fun feel Friday Christmas in July collaboration hosted by Helen Lewis. Today I thought we could do something really cool and really ugly. Ha ha ha. Puns, not so good today. Um, we're going to make some ugly sweaters and I decided to go with white versus a red or a green because I didn't, I didn't feel like trying to stamp and um, make the image appear. I think we we'll only do two. I even don't have four. You can definitely go online and find these and cut, put them out and cut them out. Um, and we're going to be using this cute little stamp set. I've shown you the stamp set before, I believe, in a, another video. And all I'm going to do is just stamp. I think I'm going to use the snowman because on my little block, I think he'll fit the best. Um, and he's going to go on one of these and then we're just going to embellish the heck out of another one. I'm not sure if you have a Michaels near you or if you shop at Michaels. You know, if you don't have a Michaels near you, can always go online. They do um, shipping. I'm not sure about overseas, um, but they do shipping in America. And that's great. They didn't do it all before, <laughs> always before. I think they just came online this year, the last year. But what I was going to say, long story short, right? I like that some of the recollections packaging has ideas because not a lot of the um stamps that recollection or craft smart or whatever you want to call it that michaels has puts ideas on the back of their um stamps and dies and it's great to see you know some ideas and how they envision their products to be used versus just us creating and even if you don't use that one, you still, you know, it's still nice to be able to have a go by something to give you something to jumpstart your memory on what you want to do. I am doing nothing lately. Um, <laughs> I want to stamp this little one right in the middle. And, you know, over the years, ugly sweaters have gotten so much more popular than they used to be when grandma used to knit or crochet or knit and crochet and sew up some sweaters for you now they're just ugly sweaters and people are like oh that's an ugly sweater it's so pretty i um wore a ugly sweater to our office party two years ago um because it was casual dress and i had just had the baby um, and I wasn't feeling comfortable, so I just put on a big old ugly sweater. But it was not really ugly. It was, it's blue. Is it blue or purple? I think it's purple. It has argyle on the front, and it has bells, and it has a reindeer on there. And I think, is it Rudolph? It may be Rudolph, because it has like, I think it has a little um, nose, a red nose. So I was just like, I'm wearing this, and everybody's like, oh, you could pull it off. <laughs> Um, and then I had on some slacks. I used to go all out, you know, like wear ball gowns, all things like that. But I don't do that anymore. And I don't think we'll be going to office party this year. Um, we may. I, it would be. It has to be the big roommate office party because um, I don't have an office. If we have an office party here, it'd be down in the um, living room, right? <laughs> Cause this is my home is my office now so here we go with the first one and i'm going to just let that sit for a while and this one what i was thinking is we could trace out the outline of it so it can have some red tint but i think what i'm going to do is just go ahead and get an ink pad and distress it some all right so we're going to be playing with this um craft value pack from um creatology and it's christmas colored of course um, so we have some googly eyes, fun stuff to go in with this. Of course, you don't need a Christmas pack. I just have this because I grabbed it when it was on clearance or sale, either last year or year before last. Um, you know, now they sell ugly sweater uh, kits, right? You get your sweater. You have all kinds of randomness that you can make your own ugly sweater. <laughs> So what I think we're going to do is oh, make a mess first, right? I think we're going to use these red and green little tiny pom-poms. 
right so we're going to put that to the side the glue gun i didn't plug it in because i wasn't thinking properly so we're going to get back to working on this one and i think we're going to take these little white puffies and put them on the sweater whenever the glue gun is um heated up i am using my sure binder and as i've learned from the other one that the pink one that I have that I got from, I don't know, probably the Dollar Tree or Walmart. I think it's a Walmart brand. I'm not sure. Um, I like that one better than I like the Sure Binder. So, I don't really particularly care for the Sure Binder. So, I'm kind of like, oh, why did I pull out the pink one? But that's the one I have on hand and that's the one we're going to use. All right. So, um, you know, snowmen are generally white unless you use yellow snow. I hope you caught that. Um, so we're going to probably leave him like that. And unfortunately, this sweater is the his version, right? Because it's, I think this one looks kind of masculine. <laughs> Even though you really can't tell if it's masculine or not. But I'm going to go ahead and color all of the hats green and put a little red um, brim on there. And pull out a brown, a yellow, or an orange for his little nose, and we will be done. I know that I've said in the past if you have something white, you want to color it white, even though it's white, but I won't be doing it this go around. I think I may pull out a color to make do something with his sweater, maybe we'll see. Um, I hope that everyone has a great and safe weekend. I have a few plans um, for today and after that I probably don't plan on going out the house unless unless you know we do something family oriented but I don't think that we'll be leaving the house after today um, the big roommate is home he has a few things that he needs to take care of and I have some things that I need to take care of so um, I think that I think he will probably take the baby with him on his excursions today. And mommy will be by herself. I plan on doing some self self um, indulgent things today as uh, as in shopping for just me. I need some shoes. He doesn't know this that I'm going to be doing this yet, but I need some shoes for myself. Um, we bought me a pair of sneakers. A couple of months ago and I have a large foot so I am very hard to find shoes for unfortunately and I don't like I like basic shoes like brown not brown black or gray something plain um, even though it's like running shoes running sneakers because I have a wide foot on top of it being a boat so um, it's really hard to find shoes but the ones that I got I really liked and when, you know he was like why don't we get two pairs like no let's not but my son stepped all over him so um <laughs> oh no he stepped all over him so um they're dirty they're like really like hard to clean dirty let's try this brandy let's not even attempt to be fancy with this all right and i probably don't even need this little um tool let's see you know how we buy stuff from the Dollar Tree because um, it's very inexpensive if you ever purchase something from the Dollar Tree and then you purchase the same thing from a big box craft store or even maybe even um, Walmart or Target you'll notice the quality is a lot different these pom-poms are full they're not hollow at all. They're just really, really full pump pumps, which is great because if you pull out the Dollar Tree brand, you will get, you know, you get what you pay for in, in, in any instant. So whenever you go, if you go to big box stores and you, it's the holidays and it's a clearance on there, I recommend you getting it at the clearance price, which is probably like a dollar or something versus the Dollar Tree. I know a lot of people myself included well no I can't say that I preach the Dollar Tree but the Dollar Tree does have good quality things sometimes 
like if it's a name brand but if it's the jot brand not all of the jot brand items are really good um there like i was telling my boyfriend because he loves like cheap sodas like chasta uh, mr pitt mr pitt what's mr pibbs uh thing dr thunder i think he likes those kind of sodas and i'm just like those are not really that good you know so let me get out this little orange and color up his nose all right so with this one this is how this looks isn't it so cute very very cute i like it a lot i was thinking with this one we could i could have just stamped a stamped image and went on and tried it but i was like no we're gonna make this one just a bunch of fuzzy fuzz um on the shirt i just have to be mindful of my little ugly scrap paper that i've been using so i'm going to put these blue these green ones right here because i have two greens out remember be mindful of the glue the hot glue because it is hot and it can burn you <laughs> if you have some of your favorite wet glue that you would use i mean this would be a great opportunity to uh showcase it i guess but i wanted it to dry quickly i didn't want it to dry um slowly i think this this little scrap has seen this last days today <laughs> um all these spiders what are your plans for the weekend let me know in the comment section below what you have going on and what you plan on doing um i don't plan on going to the grocery store getting some groceries um coming home and opening up a few more craft boxes and hopefully oh my big roommate's birthday is this weekend so i have to get him a gift he said he wanted one thing and we went to get it and he changed his mind because he's a weirdo and he does that a lot so <laughs> i think this portion needs a little bit more of some uh pom-poms and i don't have any large ones so i'm going to use these i have one large red one left and that's it so what i'm going to do is pull out I think we'll go with these green ones right here these little green ones feel so fluffy reminds me of cats now if i had my christmas stamps handy i could put ho 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 or something like that right a merry christmas so i think this will stamp a sentiment on the inside of it hopefully if i can find one really quickly um i still haven't really located my christmas stamps the stamp that's I've been using are just stamps that were in the wrong place because I have a tote for Christmas stamps only. As well as I have a tote for just Halloween stamps. Um, I haven't found those two either. So I've just been kind of digging out random stuff. Alrighty, so here we are, our completed project for this Christmas in July collaboration hosted by Helen Lewis. We have a pair of ugly sweaters and they are turtlenecks how annoying is that right i used to hate turtlenecks when i was growing up another story for another day um but i love this one i don't even think this is really ugly because it's kind of cute in a ugly sweater kind of way i don't know anyway um <laughs> we have a little snowman stamped out with some um pump pumps for his hat and then we have this one i just went ahead and stamped some trees all over it and it says the joy and we have these crazy looking pom-poms so until next friday um i'll leave everybody's information in the description box please go over and check the ladies out it is quite a few of us doing this collaboration thank you helen for allowing me to be a part of it until next friday happy crafting